quite some time since we last vlogged or checked in. And Preston's gonna go mess with the camera. Oh, nope, okay. So, yeah, we have been very active. We've been kind of busy. I started a new job. Preston started preschool or daycare slash preschool. Right, honey? Do you like school? School? Is do it you, fun? Do you have a lot of fun with friends? Friend? Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what's been going on with us. What about you? Oh, you know, work and normal life and playing soccer here in sunny San Diego. Um, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, so that's what he has to say about that. A lot came to visit us. Um, I'm sure you guys remember a lot from yes. our vlogs in Europe. He came to visit us ba, twice ba, in Europe. Ba, ba, um, I think he's... Ba, it will be our permanent ba, ba, Once a year. Once a year, we'll always meet up somewhere. So. He, came, he comes to see us almost everywhere we live, which is pretty cool. We go to see you a lot, but you live in a place that's not that exciting. Sorry. Maybe if you go to a place like New York City, uh, I mean, we're, we're, not, we're not trying to push you, but yeah, we kind of are. You know, you should think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we took him to, uh, what was it, Liberty Park Station? Liberty Park Station was the first That was really uh, cool. It was um, an old train station, right? Is that what it was? Sure. Yeah, I don't really know what it was originally, but it looks like a train station kind of place. But it has a bunch of like stalls set up where you can get different types of food. They have ice cream, they have Italian, they had Thai, they had a lot of really good stuff. Craft beer. Five meals. And desserts, yeah. Um, but it was really cool. I it was interesting. Um, I think I saw it on Instagram and then I was inspired to go and I think it was uh, it was definitely oh, lost it was definitely lost scene so I hope you enjoyed it too. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So a lot of people take Instagram pictures of you know, different places yeah. and liquor station drinks, food, so that's how we kinda of found out about it, as Dana mentioned. Did not do very well. In terms of following <laughs> at the beginning. In terms of following instructions and trying to do the drills, he wasn't involved that. But uh, other kids weren't as well initially, so uh, yeah. I have to add that as I ended the eight week session he played soccer uh, in the soccer game and he scored a goal. He did? Yeah, yeah I wasn't there for that. I was in LA. That's cool. Did you score so a goal? He's definitely more of a let me just run around and kick the ball and go type of kid versus doing drills. So uh, he definitely uh, had his moment. Yeah. Same Comic Con. Comic Con 2016. So we tried to get tickets, or I tried to get tickets, but obviously they sell it within seconds or minutes. Or it was some obscenely fast time, and we we didn't get tickets. So we decided that we're just gonna go and creep about yeah. the place. I mean, there's a lot of activity. For those of you interested in checking out Comic Con, uh, regardless of having tickets or not, there's a lot of activities outside the venue. Bye. So, all around downtown, a lot of like theme type stuff, games, events. Um, I guess. They're giving out free stuff. Yeah, a lot too. of free We got the, the mask from iRobot from just walking around the street. Mr. Robot. Mi oh, nah, sorry. Mr. Mr. Robot. Robot. So, we got the hacker mask. Enough society. Did that. Uh, we, we brought Preston. I don't know how he felt about it because we had him take a picture with Iron Man and uh, he was looking at him like, who's this? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. 
But still, it's very interesting. A lot of people would definitely be prepared for that. Um, we took the tram down there versus driving. We were trying to get an Uber. Took a tram, dropped us off, like, right kind of in the center of things. And, there was uh, a lot of people doing exactly what we were doing, just wandering around different definitely, places. Definitely a fun time. And a great experience. Next um, year. Next year. Definitely. We're definitely going to try to get tickets to go inside. So uh, hopefully it'll be a success. He was really hoping that he was going to find Gal Gadot walking around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Would we'll love to get her autograph. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Edit that out. Gal Gadot. Rented out a section of our park, and then we had a bunch of like wall houses, uh, jump houses, um, photo booth. A photo booth. Uh, oh yeah, and blow up house it was like an obstacle course type thing. So it was pretty, pretty amazing. Um, we had a little rocket competition of course. The engineer. Uh, in this, um, but because the footage I have is the footage of us shooting our rocket. Uh, so let me show you our rocket. One second. So Here's the rocket that we built. Yeah. So we definitely went more for the looks because this rocket is pretty heavy. And it, um, what we used to launch it was an air compressor. So you would put this over a tube um, that was connected to an air compressor. We loaded it up to about 100 psi and then switched off the release valve and then the air kind of shot through. But ours got stuck, which yeah. is really sad. I. So we didn't really listen or pay attention to the directions. There was a guiding tube in which we were supposed to build this around. However, we thought that guiding tube was meant to be a part of the uh, rocket. So when we went to insert the uh, rocket into the tube, of course it wouldn't fit. Um, so anyways, there were some technical difficulties with the adhesive that we had to do a quick work around for and there wasn't just a lot of, uh, well, it didn't go out that well. There was a lot of tape build up essentially and um, ours got stuck and it was really embarrassing. Well, we call this the Dark Knight Rocket. Yeah. So. We're about to launch our rocket that we built. Preston! Preston! Stand back! Alright, ready? Oh no! What the heck? Where did you go? Preston, it didn't go anywhere, baby! So we had it all set up. We're like, yeah, this is a rocket, amazing, and then, and then it got stuck. Yeah, it so really it didn't take off at all. However, if there was a design award, pretty sure we would have won it. I spent a lot of time taping this bad boy. It looks nice. Where'd your car go, Preston? Where's your car? Where is it? I think he lost his car. Where'd you bury your car? Okay, let's go. We gotta go find daddy. Where's your car though? Where's your car? <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ten in Laos. One. In Laos. Two. One. So we're at the point where Dana went to work and then Preston starts his first day of daycare. Preston's first day of preschool. Are you excited? Are you gonna have fun? Yeah, are you gonna go make friends? 
Yeah, you're gonna go make lots of friends and you're gonna be very nice, right? Good. Say hi, friends. Preston. My name Preston. is Preston. Friend. Yeah, hi, friend. My name is Preston. Look at it's, uh, pretty exciting. Um, with lots of emotions. Back. Dana going back to work and him starting daycare. It's really change. sad. I mean, I spent the last three years basically with him, right? Yeah. Just with him. Do you guys name that too? So high. So high. Cold stone. Cold stone. <laughs> Ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. Cold play and Beyonce. Okay. Can we talk? Can we talk to our friends? Okay, so back to him starting school. Um, yeah, it was really hard. Um, Daycare. So he actually got sick oh, or yeah. twice already. So he's once a month, month. Yeah, he's gotten sick, but hopefully that helps build up his immune system, we hear. So uh, I guess more of it, if he gets sick earlier on, a better immune system to have later in life. I hope. And. Trusted you when you watch this later. You had a little girlfriend mm, already. Oh my god. So I picked him up one day. Um, you know, went went out to get him. Yeah. All of a sudden the little girl runs yeah. up right next to him, stands. I was like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> she gets punch him. Yeah, she, she gives him a hug and then he hugs her back. I'm like, okay, all right. Just thinking this may be a one time thing. But then often I'd go drop him off and she's already there. As soon as he gets there, they go up and hug. Okay, so I asked um, the teacher, you know, how's he doing? He says, yeah, he is, you know, a best friend, which is a little girl, and they hug, and she shows him stuff all the time. One day, Dana came with us to pick up Preston. And yeah, um, so I was standing inside the classroom with Preston, and the little girl ran up to the door, and it's a glass see-through door. And um, they both pressed against the glass door, hand to hand, and they like put their face together on the glass, like they were kissing through the glass. I'm like, what is this? Like, you guys are three, right? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So I feel super awkward when we go there and her dad's there too, and then they hug right in front of us. I'm like, mm, okay, sorry dude. <laughs> but anyways, Preston's enjoying daycare. Um, when he was sick just the other day, uh, we were coming home, but he was like, in daycare, school, and calling out his teacher's names, so he really enjoys it. I'm glad. I'm glad he, it's taken a turn because before he wasn't liking it very much at all. Yeah, yeah. He likes being with us or missed being with us. So. He still gets upset with me when, we, when he picks me up from work because we were going to try to stick with one car and sometimes they would come pick me up instead of me taking the bus home. And Preston would tell me to go back up the elevator because I have to come down the elevator to come to the car. He's like, yeah. no! Go up! Go up! No! Bye, Mama! But, anyways, in, in regards to daycare, loves it. Loves the little school. Loves the teachers, so that's really good news. So, before my family came, we decided that we wanted to go check out Coronado Island, which is not really an island, if you think about it. It's really a peninsula. So, I don't know why it's called Coronado Island. Um, but we walked around a little bit. We didn't get a lot of footage because, honestly, we forgot to. Yeah. Um, but it was really pretty. The beaches were nice. Um, what I was more impressed with are the houses near Coronado Island. They're so cute. Amazing. Uh, a lot of times you'll see these houses that are very similar to another, but down in the Coronado Beach area, um, right next to, right across from the beach, you'll see a lot of houses that are very unique, uh, different from one another, of course, definitely unique. Uh, so definitely amazing, uh, especially watching HGTV a lot, like looking at all these houses and wanting to go inside. I know it's kind of creepy, but it's, it's really cool. Creepy? In Holland, we used to peek in people's homes. Yeah, but this is all good in Holland. <laughs> but Coronado is really cool. Um, pretty nice beach. It was okay. Uh, How's your gelato, little one? We got strawberry gelato and coconut. He seems to like it. What's this place called? Uh, Nato gelato. Nato gelato. Or is it Bottega? No? I don't know. Okay, so Big House is, an, is a new coffee shop cafe near that opened up like just a mile away from us and they serve rolled ice cream. So I don't, don't quote me on this, but I think this is the first 
Eh. Rolled ice cream shop in San Diego. Eh. I could be wrong. Eh. Yeah. But I also discovered that Instagram. It's the first one that we know of. <laughs> and it's only a mile away. So we went um, during their soft opening. It's still soft opening. Um, they haven't had their grand opening yet, but they're slowly introducing more and more flavors. And it's so good. I think it's so good. Well, the first time I went, I thought it was really good. The second time we went, it was, it was okay. Um, so they just introduced coffee. And I really go. Go. That it's really good because I really like coffee ice cream. Um, but yeah, I'm interested yeah. to see what menu they finalize by the time grand opening happens. Um, he thinks it's just whatever. He's not nice ice cream. Me. I like DQ. <laughs> so it's pretty unique. He's not that impressed. Yeah, I mean it's unique and all that stuff, but I don't like waiting 45 minutes for my. Ice it was a long wait because there's so many people, and they only had two. Machines. Machines to do it. Um, so it was a long wait, but it was, you know, I was so excited. I'm sick to my DQ ice cream cake. So shout out to DQ. Boss is shopping. Are you having fun shopping, my pop? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so pretty. You would look so young in that. Oh, that's it? That's cool. You just have that in your pocket right now. It's pocket change. <laughs> hey, name it, Bob. Don't you like the mugs? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Too long. Why? You like the dog? Nothing. <laughs> My mom's on her phone. Dude, I have business here at the Hi, little one. Hi, little one. So, Liberty Weekend, our family came to visit us finally in San Diego. Um, it was really nice to have them. It was nice to see them. The, my mom and my aunt flew into San Diego first. And then my other aunt and her family flew into LA and then drove down. So we took them to Old Town in San Diego. Um, took them to Coronado as well. Of to course. Coronado, but let's talk about Old Town first. Um, we walked around Old Town a little bit. We walked uh, around the museum. It was the uh, something Estudio. I don't remember what it was. Called, but that was pretty cool. It showed how they lived. What was it 70, 80 years ago, something like that? Um, we did that. There was a lot of cute little markets, I think, in the area. I'm trying to remember. I feel so long ago, but there's a lot of cute little shops. Things were kind of pricey, of course, because it's kind of like a tourist trap, right? But it was cute. It was spendy. But I think they had fun walking around. It's pretty nice to see some of the San Diego history, though. I think he's playing Pokemon Go while we're walking around Old Town. Honey, are you playing Pokemon Go? Yeah, you are. That's why you put your phone down now. You were caught red-handed. <laughs> He's still checking periodically to see if there's any Pokemon. Isn't that so last month? I don't know. I didn't play to begin with, so I don't know if it's out of date or not. I'll always join later. I'm not an early adapter. Person, so she's like, okay, I've seen it, let's go. <laughs> yeah. The breeze was nice. I think, I didn't think it was that warm the day we went. No, we could have fell asleep. Yeah, it was really nice. It was a nice cool breeze. But we decided to get up and go, and then we went to do the ferry, was what we also did. We did the ferry from the island over to downtown, the convention center area. area. So that was that. I think they had a lot of fun. They talk about Look. Maybe coming back during the holidays. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice for them to leave Bye. Minneapolis snow to come to the San Diego. So we also 
uh, attended the WOW annual Dragon Boat race here that they have in San Diego. Uh, I forget the park area or the beach area. Anyways, we'll put some notes in a little bit later. It's Mission Bay. Oh, uh, Mission Bay. So it was pretty interesting. Um, we got there probably around 11 to 12, and there was a lot of people there, barely any parking, so we had about a mile to get to um, the main area where they were doing the boat racing. I'm not quite sure the genesis, you know, the story behind um, the genesis of the board race, but it was cool to see a lot of people in the wild community you know, doing a uh, competition. There were vendors out there, so it's pretty nice to see. Preston, of course, loved the little beach area playing in the sand and, and the water, of course, getting dirty. The day we were out there, I, I don't know if it was, the, it was probably the mayor that was there, and he yeah. named that specific day as the Dragon Boat Race Day. Yeah, a lot of Dragon Boat Race Day. Dragon Boat Race Day. So that was pretty cool. I thought it was really interesting. Yeah, it was cool. Just cut open a mini tablet for him. Which one is it? Which one did you get? into these Thomas Mini blind Thomas. bags. Thomas? Yeah. So if you see these little videos, or at least the little videos, these little toys in the videos, they're from the little blind bags that we get from Target. I think they're about a dollar fifty. Yeah, you yes. get them from Target. So when we go to Target, he knows exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. This is favorite store now because of these little... Yeah, okay. burp. 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 Okay, that was a good burp. Um, yeah, so he's been really into them, but I don't know if you guys know or if you guys are into Thomas at all, but you can figure out which Thomas the train you get by the numbers on the bags. Mm -hmm. So these mystery bags have like these numbers printed out, as Zayna mentioned, but every year they have these waves where they release certain Thomas characters. Um, there's a checklist that you can find online to figure out which Thomas the toy train is in which bag based on the number that's printed out on the bag. So that's a parent tip. So you're not continually buying the same one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all we have. I think you guys are fully caught up with our lives right now. Um, we're going to try to vlog more often because we've been watching our old vlogs and we think they're so cool and not really sure why we... Well, we know why we, we haven't vlogged lately, but we're going to try harder to vlog more often. And especially when people are asking us, what's going on with you guys? So we're going to try to vlog more often so you guys can see what's yeah. happening. And Stay yeah. tuned. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Say bye. Bye. See ya. See Focus. Ya. Mm -hmm. <laughs>